Welcome everyone. In this video, we will be talking about uh, linear scheduling method or LSM. LSM uh, is very useful uh, concept uh, for repetitive or linear projects such as highways, um, high-rise buildings, pipelines, or uh, rail construction, or even tunneling. This uh, method for scheduling is also called uh, distance time uh, scheduling or uh, location based scheduling. There are uh, a couple of advantages uh, that LSM has in linear projects over uh, traditional critical path method or CPM, and uh, these include but are not limited to uh, maximization of uh, resource uh, utilization and also. Uh, minimizing the interruptions in uh, ongoing uh, processes. In an example, uh, we will be seeing these advantages. Here is a pipeline project and the length um, for the project is uh, 5 kilometers or 5,000 meters. And there are five um, activities involved, uh, starting from excavation, followed by uh, preparing the soft base and the laying pipes. Uh, backfilling and action. Um, Logically, uh, we need to um, have um, excavation uh, uh, completed before uh, uh, preparing the sub base, and the uh, sub base should be uh, completed after that uh, pipes are uh, laid. But uh, we don't need to uh, consider this for the whole length of the project. One uh, solution that comes to mind is um, considering a CPM such as this and um, a start-to-start, start, finish-to-finish uh, relationships for all activities have been implemented with a lag of five, um, suggesting that um, uh, there shouldn't be any overlap um, uh, activities. Let's uh, complete this CPM and see um, how the schedule uh, will look like. As you can see, uh, now activity blocks are um, populated with early start and early finish time and in the backward path, uh, uh, late finish and late start times. Uh, everything uh, seems all right, but have a closer look on um, activity C. Uh, we can see that the uh, duration of uh, this activity is uh, the minimum. Uh, it is only 50, day, 50 days of duration. However, uh, <coughs> looking at the early times, um, the early start is day 10 and uh, the early finish time is 210. So um, the crews for this uh, particular activity C need to be on site for 200 days. This is despite the fact that um, they are the most productive team in the project and the only um, duration of work they need is 50 days. So we are somehow penalizing um, the most productive team um, in um, Resource uh, utilization, utilization is not um, the best um, for that activity. So uh, we need to find um, an alternative scheduling method. Um, a good solution is uh, to use um, uh, LSM, which is a graphical uh, tool for scheduling. So for each activity in a linear project, um, we can have a line uh, representation. And on the vertical axis, we have um, distance or location, and on the horizontal axis, we have time. In this way, um, the gap between two activities uh, show the time buffer, and uh, the vertical gap um, between uh, the two activities uh, shows a uh, distance buffer. Using this uh, method um, and graphical representation, uh, we can uh, have a look on our project. In the first attempt, uh, we consider the gap uh, between start times. So we start with excavation starting at time zero. Duration of 120 is um, showing us uh, the finish date of 120. Then we consider five uh, days of buffer. A start uh, preparing sub base at day five. 
finishing at uh, day 205 for laying pipe uh, we consider five days of buffer for the start so starting at day 10 duration of 50 gives us um, early finish time of 60. However uh, we can see that activity C uh, can catch up uh, with the other two activities and therefore we have the intersection of lines um, and um, this is um, an indication of conflict um, between activities. For this uh, uh, very productive uh, um, activity uh, we can consider uh, five days of buffer uh, for the finish time so looking um, at the predecessor uh, which is uh, soft base finishing at day 205 we can consider five days of buffer finish activity C at day 210 then work back uh, for 50 days to find the uh, start time for activity C which is 160 with the same uh, principle we can uh, uh, have the uh, schedule for all five um, activities uh, the rule of thumb is here is to maintain the minimum buffer of five days at all times uh, for a slower activities um, with um, less production rate such as activity B considering the buffer for the start time is appropriate however for um, uh, fat activities with higher production rate such as activity C we need to consider uh, the buffer for finish time um, looking at activity D because um, it is a slower than activity C we can consider the buffer for start time and um, uh, for the last activity E compaction because again this is a slower then the predecessor activity D, consideration of buffer for the start time is appropriate, starting at day 170 with the duration of 140. We have the finish time of 310 for activity E and uh, for the project. Another uh, example that we can look at is a tunneling uh, project with a length of 10 kilometers or 10,000 meters. Here, the production rates are given and we can work out uh, durations uh, as an example for activity A with a production rate of 200 meters per day and we can find of 50 days for activity B with a higher production rate uh, the duration will be 40 days and so on and so forth we can calculate durations for all projects we start um, uh, linear scheduling method by uh, drawing the line for activity A starting at day 0 with the duration of 50 we have the blue line the rate of activity B is more than A so the buffer needs to be considered for the finish time here we have 10 days of buffer so 60 days will be finishing time for activity B and we work back uh, at the duration of 40 days to find the a start time of 20 days for um, activity B. Activity C is a slower um, activity than B. The buffer is considered uh, for the start time starting at 30 days and um, the duration of 100 days we have the finish time. Then activity D is faster than C. We consider the buffer for finish time and finally activity E is slower than the predecessor activity D starting at day 130 the activity finishes at day 155 and also the project uh, finish time is 155 days recap uh, we use the linear scheduling method for um, those linear projects with repetitive activities ideal uh, solution for tunneling uh, pipelines high-rise construction and uh, similar projects uh, we can call uh, this uh, method the location-based scheduling or distance time scheduling as well thanks uh, for your attention to this uh, very important uh, scheduling method 
I look uh, forward uh, to having our uh, future uh, discussions.